Jerry, do us a hack, would you? All right, all right. I've got, uh, last week I, sh- I, I talked about how I wanted to record audio on floppy disks. So, disks. so I finally got that going. So here's a three and a half inch floppy. I gutted a, um, an old tape drive for the amplifier mainly and for the, the play record functionality. And I found that I could record 15 seconds of audio onto each side of the disc. And I wired this so that I could step the head forward and back. I don't know if you can see it very well, but if you um, push this button, you can step the head forward and back. And that's by taking the uh, index pulses off of the motor, which is spinning. There's a little magnet, and then there's a little sensor off in the corner that measures each RPM, or each rotation, and it outputs a pulse. And you just loop that back through, and you, you get pulses. From the edge connector, you can't um, pass true analog um, signals. So I actually had to remove the, the, um, the flex circuit cable, solder a couple wires so it, it actually talks to the head. And I found something very interesting about this when I, when I did this. is You can overdrive the head. So if this is your disc, and as the disc is spinning, you're writing tracks around. And if you overwrite or overdrive the head, it actually writes a couple tracks forward and a couple tracks back. So you get a little bit of da- or a little bit of audio bleeding over into the, the other tracks. And it makes this very interesting um, sound effect where you get a little bit of the audio that's coming in the future plus a little bit of the audio that was in the past. And uh, it's, it's a very strange reverb echo sound. So let me see if this will go. So there's a little bit of, uh, oh, and if you, if you drive the head forward, it plays the audio forward. And if you um, allow the, the head to step backwards, it plays it forward, but every uh, half a second is, is, uh, is played forwards. It's, it's very odd. And then you, can, you can do some uh, kind of fun scratching things with it. So, <laughs> so <laughs> there you go, George. What do you think of that? <laughs> it's better than I had dreamed possible, Jerry. We talked about this the, the first night, and, and I've got to admit, you know, I was confident that it would sound freaky, but I think you, I think you struck gold here. I think it, it sounds, sounds, it sounds a lot better in person than trying to feed it through the analog in, but um, I think it could be a fun uh, DJ mix thing, and, uh, and, and the great thing is that you pop the disc out, and you just put in whatever pre-recorded disc that you uh, that you want in there. Oh, but, uh, man. I got a question. Are you manually incrementing the tracks to get your next 15 seconds? Like every 15 seconds, you have to pop it forward. No. So what happens is the index pulse is coming out, and you get about a half a second per revolution of the disc. And that index pulse, as it comes out, I'm feeding it right back into the signal that causes the head to step. So if you don't do anything, it automatically steps in one direction. There's another wire that if you ground it, the step direction is outward. And if you raise it to 5 volts, it, it pulls it in. So you can drive it back and forth, and you can actually play with that button. You can drive it back and forth as you're, you're recording or reading. Plus, then you can flip it over, and you can play with the motor and scratch it. And uh, Well, I am, I am truly amazed. And <laughs> it's fun. And um, I have a... I have a huge stack of um, three and a half inch uh, floppies that I just threw out today, so I'll pull them out of the trash can. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Save the planet. <laughs> Low density or high density? <laughs> I know that, Jerry, what's the, source, what's the source sound that you've got on there? It was Jonathan Colton's uh, Still Alive is the, 
Oh, perfect. Oh man. Okay, so we gotta we gotta turn this thing into a pedal effect. This is gonna <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> Thanks. So my next step is I want to take a hard drive, which gives you much finer precision of the record heads, and I want to drive them with a, um, a keyboard to voltage so that it, it steps the head to different positions on the disc, and you can uh, pre-record the disc with um, kind of like an optigan with different sounds on each track, and you can play it. We are so going there. Yeah, okay. and I'll include a few hard drives in the box. <laughs> well, thanks. I, I think my entire basement is full of hard drives, so I think I'm okay for now. <laughs>